Hello, my name's Keith from StarTech.com. Today, we'd like to talk about physically setting up a KVM switch. Setting up a KVM switch can seem a bit daunting as there are a lot of connections and cables. Once you understand the purpose of each connection and how the KVM switch is laid out, it will seem much easier. In general, the front of a KVM switch will have numbered buttons and LEDs. The LEDs are used to tell you which computer is being controlled and the buttons are used to switch between them. Depending on the KVM switch, it may also have hotkey support, which will allow you to switch the controlled computer by using certain keyboard combinations or hotkeys. Refer to the manual for a given KVM switch for more information. In general, the back of a KVM switch will have a section for console ports and a section for each computer to be controlled. The console ports are for plugging in your mouse, keyboard, and display or displays, as well as audio and USB peripherals if supported. Some KVM switches will also power themselves off of the video and USB connections to the computers and do not require a power adapter. To set up your KVM switch, turn off all of the displays and computers that will be connected to the KVM switch. Then complete the following. Step 1. Connect the power adapter to the KVM switch if needed. Step 2. Connect the video cable from your display to the console video port. Step 3. Turn on the display or displays. Step 4. Connect your keyboard and mouse to the console PS2 or USB ports. Step 5. If the KVM switch is not focused on port 1, change the KVM switch to focus on port 1. Step 6. Connect the video cable or cables from PC1 to the KVM switch. Step 7. Connect the PS2 or USB cables from PC1 to the PC1, PS2 or USB ports. Step 8. Turn on PC1. You should see the computer load the operating system that you're using on PC1. Step 9. Make sure the mouse and keyboard can control PC1. Step 10. Repeat steps 6 to 9 for each additional computer you wish to connect to the KVM switch changing the focus of the KVM switch to the port the computer is connected to. Leave the computer in focus on the KVM switch until you complete step 9, ensuring that the mouse and keyboard work with the computer. If at this point you continue to experience issues with your StarTech.com KVM switch, please contact our technical support team for further assistance. Thanks for watching. My name's Keith from StarTech.com. Hard to find, made easy.